What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're gonna be installing the 135i 1M replica bumpers on the car since we got them painted already. Let me just show you guys how they came out. Um, looks super clean, so check this out. So this is kinda how it looks like. We got them all painted, primered and painted. They're just in this bag. So let me just show you guys real quick what we got. So we got these lights that came with the bumper. Um, I think these are for the 128 since we don't run the the harness to hook these onto. But we got those right, and then we got it came with this little centerpiece, and then hardware and all that good stuff. So we also hooked it up with um, another set of these grills. Same as the ones we got, um, but these are all scratched up. Um, so we'll slap those back on. But yeah, let me show you guys the bumper, how it looks. This is where it got damaged from. So, good thing uh, it happened before we even painted it. So, if you guys want to buy it, let me know. I don't know if it's any good use, but we're taking it off. All right guys, so it looks like we just finished taking this off. It was pretty easy to take off. Um, it was just like a eight millimeter bolt this side and some clips. And then you got a little T27s or T, I forgot what they are, small little ones. T7, what are these called? Huh. Well, these are small ones right here. Um, and then, You've got, after that, you've got the same thing over here and the clips, pretty easy to take off. I just turned the wheel. Um, but that's about it. We're gonna uh, put everything from this bumper to that bumper or probably just put on the ones that it came with, like these little grills. Um, but yeah, let's uh, start doing that. Time to take out. The freshly painted bumper. Yeah, I'll go back. Nice. Woo! Damn, hella clean. Alright. Alright, we were able to fit the um, these lights that came with the kit. I don't think it's for the 135, like I said, but we were mat we were able to um, hook it on using some um, some self-tapping screws. And <sighs> looks like it's not coming off, so really stoked about that. And then you had to just put it on the the grills right here in the front, which should just pop in. There you go. Uh -huh. Yes. And I think we are ready to go. Alright, we're just mount this on real quick. Alright, one side's done. Can't turn it on too long because we got a little situation going on in the charge pipe. You guys will see it later on. But I uh, just gotta adjust this to connect this side with the eight millimeter bolt if I can find it. But um, yeah, let's keep going. All oh, well, that's left to do is tighten these in real quick. Okay. It was an expensive bumper. Okay, and then we'll put the trim back on front bumper is installed let me know what you guys think looks super clean so um, we got the 1M bumper finished but we're not gonna install the rear one until um, we get the rear diffuser for it since um, the first time we put it on it kind of fell off and that's because I put it on while the bumper was on so it wasn't held on properly I think but um, just to be on the safe side, I'm just going to install it uh, when the diffuser gets here. So 
I know that it's on and it doesn't uh, fall off because that diffuser is probably like 500 bucks in total shipping and everything for this for the 1M uh, replica rear bumper but yeah we're just gonna run this for now I know it's kind of melting right here <laughs> this piece but that's not a problem <laughs> we're probably just like chip it out or something but we'll kind of deal with it I'll just show you guys real comparison old bumper new bumper just gotta be real careful with this um but yeah guys i was gonna do a separate video on this but since we got time i'm probably gonna do it now so um i don't know if you guys experienced this before on your uh one series but um the actual charge pipe blew in, not into little pieces but a good chunk of it fell off um so we just ordered this VRSF one um i think it was like 190 in total and that's because we got the the charge pipe for the one for the n55 which is 130 but we paid for um next day shipping which we ordered on thursday night and it got here saturday morning so really stoked about it i mean for the price and quality it seems pretty cool but we're gonna install that let me show you guys what it comes with obviously it comes with this coated black coated um charge pipe which actually feels like great good quality and then obviously you have these little ports here um or if you're not running it they provide you with these little screws to block those off um clamps and then this tube but um yeah let's get started i think that's it we're just gonna start taking well i'm gonna start taking this off the whole uh air intake system off and shouldn't be a hard install i think um but yeah let's get to it guys okay so this is how it looks like now as you can see it has like little bits that kind of shit it shit it off of the charge pipe so you can see the shit blew off so we're gonna have to take i'm gonna take this set off over here little bolt and uh unclamp it so you guys actually see how much uh how bad it was so i'm gonna take this off and i think it's only two so just a clamp and then this one and then probably take off the sensor so yeah all right guys so i um i connected it all together um it's kind of difficult to uh, make it in there but i installed well i'll try to put in this part in first and then work my way out through the back but i i clamped this one down already so this one's good and then i just slid in the the clamp so i won't have to do that afterwards so don't remember don't forget to do that so i'm just gonna connect these two together as you can see i gotta connect these two slide it in and then connect the sensor as well and i think we should be good all right so we connected everything back the v-band is back on sensor is back on uh little inlet um it's secure to both it wasn't that hard to put it now we're gonna put the, the air filter um, back on and then we have a little situation with the hood locking so i'll figure that out all right guys so we installed everything back on everything seems to be fine we just fired it up rev it a little bit Era. 